Hello, Cristia. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you today? Tired, but, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tired, I imagine. <laughs> that's a yeah. very good, that's a very common word <laughs> here in <laughs> classes. <laughs> it's like, how are you? Tired. <laughs> So, it's the most common answer. Answer. Yes, it is the most common answer because I mean, I mean, you spent all the whole day working, right? Yeah. The whole day but working. But I'm happy for for be in my house. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Yeah. So, but ah, uh, you tell me that you don't live far from your work, right? What? Or do you live? Do you live far from your work? Uh, yes, in the airport. It's true. Oh, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's really, really far. So yes, yeah, that's why. And also, I think it's not the, the distance, but the traffic. The traffic mm. is the problem. How long do you yeah. take to get to your to your job? Around uh, 45 minutes. Oh, yeah. So an, hour? See. yeah. An, an hour. Yeah, it takes a lot yeah. of time. It takes yes. a lot of a lot of time for you to get there definitely well welcome yes. everybody welcome my dear student mr jose carlos welcome it's a pleasure to see you thank you teacher hello did you have the chance to communicate with mm, no nah, but i don't know with whom i i, I talk i send I it to with... your whatsapp yeah, but there is, let me see who, let me see. Maybe if you can, you can call the person in the morning. Uh, Claudia Lopez. Uh -huh, yeah, you can, you can do it with, Cla with any of the administrators on the, on the, on the, on the group. Have you seen the group? Yeah. There are a lot of uh, people who are in charge of the program, right? You see there, uh, Claudia, yes. you see there, Catherine, uh, yes. Jason. So there are a lot of people who that, that you can communicate to. Yeah. Mr. Juan de Dios, welcome. So try to do it tomorrow, right? Mr. Jose Carlos, try to communicate with them tomorrow so you can actually uh, okay. get to a solution of your okay. issue. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Juan de Thank Dios, you. how are you? Um, I am very well. Ah, is it, <laughs> that's a yes, common thing arriving, like ah, arriving to the work from the work arriving from work to my home right, to your home look at mr jorge were you running <laughs> no teacher look at my my internet doesn't work ah so you are connected I'm connecting from, from your cell phone from your phone no, i thought you were coming from running because of the outfit <laughs> because of the the weather. <laughs> okay, no, yo le decía que si venía de correr por el outfit que carga puesto. <laughs> As always. That'd be great. Oh, that would be great. Hello, Yvette, how are you? And that microphone, sweetie, you have it off. Sorry. No worries. Good evening. How was your day? Well, very tired. Very tiring. You say very tiring because it was like the, the definition of the day, right? We said like I feel very tired, right? You can feel tired, but the actual day was very tiring, right? Tiring. Welcome, welcome, Yvette. Let's see, Claudia Melendez, how are you today? Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi, I'm very fine. You're very excited fine. because this is the last class. This is our last class, right? You see, you reached the last module of intermediate. And yes, you are going to become it. advanced students next week. Oh my <laughs> God, it's awesome. <laughs> It is really fantastic. I, I really feel very happy for all the progress that all of you have during the during the module, because that is something that says that you are going to do a very good job 
in the next one, right? And that's why I sent you the little question that we're going to use after the survey, right? We're going to answer this little question that I sent you that are basically three things, right? What did you enjoy the most? What was the most challenging? And what are your expectations for the next one? So those three questions are the ones that we are going to be completing today after the survey. So you can actually express what you think and what you expect from the next module. And it gives me the chance to evaluate a little bit your oral performance, right? So that's why I, I send it to you. It's very simple. Right, but it's really necessary for us to wrap up the complete module, right? And uh, we are, you are going to have this week for vacations. And then on Monday, you start again with the next module, right? It is a very ongoing process. I am going to send a message to all your other classmates and uh, so they can connect already, right? I know that they remember that we are here, right? And we will continue. How was your weekend, people? Did you do something special? Yes. Tell me. My, 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 bear. Your birthday. <laughs> no, no, my son. I, ah, <laughs> I, I was going to say, happy birthday, <laughs> your son's birthday, wow. Yes. Did you have a party? Yes. Eee, fantastic. Yeah, aquí, aquí les traje un poquito de lo que eh, nos mandó Yvette. Miren, ya se lo voy a enseñar. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> This is for all the class, so you have to share. You have to share a little bit on the cake, right? This is for the complete class. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday to you too, because it was another year of you being a mother. How beautiful. Congratulations, Eva. Well, today we are going to do different activities, right? Today we are going to... Uh, work a little bit on some details and some things that I have for us to finish our module. We are also going to work on the survey at 8.30. So I really need you to do something important, right? Before we, uh, before we go on the survey at 8.30, I need you please to open the email that you receive so you can have it ready. Okay, y necesito que todos tengan ya listo el correo que recibieron con la información porque lo vamos a ir ocupando eh, mediante vayamos desarrollando la encuesta con el encargado a las 8.30. Si no estamos como, ahorita lo busco, teacher, ahorita lo abro. Ok, vamos a teacher, buscar. Yes. Eh, el, creo que lo mandaron al correo de la empresa. Oh my God, and you need it. Yeah, no. I no lo tengo aquí. Oh my God. Solo de la oficina. Estoy inscrita and, con el de la oficina. And don't you have the information? Uh -huh. es, yes, al de la oficina. Como es, es eh, de la empresa, nos escribieron al curso. Ajá, pero en la, en la cuestión de su información, o sea, ¿tiene como toda la información también en su correo o no? En el WhatsApp eh, no la tiene. Sí. Se la enviaron también al WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Voy no, a no, no. Ahora. no, revise si se eh. la enviaron también al WhatsApp, por favor. Okay. Porque eso es importante, o sea, para que todos ya lo tengamos como abierto el correo que les enviaron, para que no haya ningún problema al momento de, de, realizar, de realizar la encuesta, porque la vamos a realizar a las 8.30 ya con la persona encargada de, de Insaforme. Eh, lo que tienen que haber recibido es algo similar a esto. Con eh, todo como yo tengo como los datos y todo, pero tienen ustedes como su información, su nombre completo y todo. Eso es lo que tienen que tener abierto. No la vamos a hacer todavía, sino que hasta las 8.30. Así que tenemos todavía el, el, la oportunidad de, de revisar que todos tengan sus datos correctos. 
Can ¿Sí? we uh, share the link to Yvette? I think we can do it. I think we can do it, but uh, I think uh, she needs to she needs to to have some extra information. I don't really know because here we have a, a well, this is something that I'm going to give you, the email, the number. Yeah, I think I think yes, you can mm -hmm. do it because because most of them are 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 things that we are going to do together, right? Yes, I think okay. she can she can do it. If you can do it, that would be perfect. Okay, so. Ah, you found it. Yay. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> did you get it? Did you get it, mm -hmm. uh, Yvette? Mm, estoy buscando. <laughs> Bye. Creí que la había encontrado, pero no. Ah, okay. So because that's that's what we are basically going to do, right? For the for the survey today. Así que asegúrense que todos lo tengan abierto. Me van confirmando, porfa, los que ya lo tengan listo. Yes, I do. Okay. Christy has it ready. Who else? Who else has it ready? Me. Me, teacher. Okay, good. So make sure, make sure that you have it there because you are going to use it. Okay, Jose Carlos, ¿ya lo tiene? Yes. Yes. Eh, Rosa Beatriz, ya Juan de Dios. Creo que no lo mandaron al del grupo, quizá no una parte. ¿eh? Eh, no, del... es que como todos se los enviaron al, al, al correo. Listo, El... teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Ready, good evening. Ready, Juan de Dios. Ready. Can you share the other one with Yvette, just in case? Yes, Okay, Nelson, do you have the email ready? Ahorita lo buscando, sorry, teacher. Okay. Ya, ya lo encontré, aquí está. ¿Qué día lo mandaron? Fue el, eh. ya le digo. Ya le digo. 8 de agosto. Monday 8. Monday, August 8. Hello, Olga Marlene, do you have it ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, Christian has it ready. Silvia Suleima, do you have it ready? Yes, Rocio Veronica. Hello. Good evening, no, I'm looking for the email. Okay, but... good. <laughs> <laughs> Claudia has it ready, Dianita is connecting. Jorge, do you have it ready? Dani, can you listen to me? He pasado medio módulo esperando a Dani. I, I can connect with my computer teacher. I'm trying to share. Internet. Data. No, but what about, but, but I mean, do you have the email ready on your phone? No. Uh, in my phone, I, I, I think yes, but I can copy it. Ah, and you translate can, the you information. Cannot, you cannot copy and paste. Okay. That's it. Okay. Let good. me try to, to do something. Okay, good. And Danny, Danny, Danny is the hombre más buscado de de esta noche. Okay. Eh, oh my God. Okay, Dianita. <gasps> my God, Diana. Hopefully everything is going to be fine. Poor Diana. She's very sick, she says. She's in the hospital. So, uh, hello, Marlene and Nicole. How are you? It is a pleasure to have you here. Today we are going to finish or uh, well the survey, and we are going to be uh, we are going to be filling up the survey in a few minutes. So hopefully they are going to do it. And I the thing is that all of you have it ready, right? If not, you can have it there in the in the link 
if you can share it. If not, we are going to ask uh, Catherine as soon as she connects for uh, solutions, right? So what can we do if we don't no, have nothing of it? Okay, so maybe Juan de Dios, you can send it to the, you can send the link to Yvette and we can ask uh, uh, Catherine, as soon as she connects, uh, if we can do it like that. I think that if you have all the information and the, the things that I am going to share, there is no problem, right? So we are going to work a bit on some tips that I, I have for you. And for sure, uh, we're going to work a little bit on this before we start the actual presentation, right? Of the survey. So <laughs> as I have to do it like this, I'm going to share here. Wait, wait, wait. I am going to share my screen with you. So welcome to our last uh, session. I hope it is not going to be the last one because I hope to connect with you further in the future, right? And Today, for sure, it is, this is our last session. Remember that all the things that you have covered, many of you have already finished the platform. You have already finished working on all the things that were pendent. Todos terminaron la plataforma. La mayoría de ustedes ya la completó. Entonces, solo me faltaba Dani, que la tenía medias ahí, que no la había terminado. Así que, Dani, si me estás oyendo, porfa, podemos avanzar en eso, al menos hoy toda la noche. <laughs> toda la plataforma en una noche. Remember that to finish this, it is really important that you have at least 80% in all the homework and evaluation, right? Many of you have over 80%, you have 100, right? The homework are in the platform and for sure they, you will, they were supposed to finish on the 12th of August, right? But now as we had this little inconvenience on the week, we are finishing today that it's August 15, right? Uh, remember that we always take attendance, that's important. And on the further modules, you need to be present in the 120 minutes of the class. And for the last time in this module, remember the agreements for every single class. Practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep the microphones off if you are not using them. Attend all your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class and for sure collaborate with your friends in the WhatsApp group. Right, this is really important for the following days for you to continue improving and practicing your English, right? And as I said before, right, this we were talking about the highlights of your day, and today it's our class number 25th, right? Today it's our final class, right? I am going to take attendance right now. I am going to take the attendance. And remember, when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present, okay? I am going to open my document to call out the attendance. I am going to miss you tomorrow here at this time. It's like, Ay, la, la asistencia. <laughs> and you are going to be chilling there tomorrow. Carolina y Amilet. Present teacher. Okay, let me just make this bigger. Eh, Claudia Maria? Present. Christian Natalie? Present. Diana Elizabeth? It's right here, right? Jorge Humberto? Jorge Humberto is also here, struggling with his internet. And is a here teacher, says Diana. Jorge is there, but with the microphone off, we see him there. Present teacher. <laughs> Thank you very much. Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Jose Rodrigo. Jose Rodrigo. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Ivette. Okay, Manuel Antonio. Manuelito hasn't come. Recording in progress. Don't worry, <laughs> I silenced it already. 
Okay, uh, okay, Maria Genoveva is not here. Miguel Ángel. Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here, teacher. Norma Carolina. Present, teacher. Olga Marleni. Present, teacher. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present, teacher. Silvia Zuleima. Present. Tatiana Michelle. Present, teacher. Bill Maivet. Present. Marlene Nicole. Present. Omar Francisco. And Danny Anthony. Okay, I think Omar. No, Omar hasn't come. Okay, so I have here a couple of questions and comments about uh, regarding basically what follows on this process of learning, okay? Let me just share them with you. Remember that the process of learning never stops, right? So what I re really recommend for the following days and for the days to come and the modules to come are some specific things that you can do in order to practice your English, right? In order to practice your English, something that is very important is to set a goal. Why are you learning the language? What is your purpose of learning? Do you have a specific and clear purpose that you are, uh, that why you are learning English? Because yes. you, are not, you are not doing it just for fun, right? What is a specific purpose that you have? I would like to listen like three of you. In my case, I want to improve the skills on my works. Okay, you want to improve your work skills. That's pretty good. And you want to escalate on your on your work. I imagine that you want to have a better position. Excellent. Another goal that you have for learning the language? In my case, teacher, uh -huh. to be uh -huh. part of a select group that can uh, speak with with another company in, in other countries. That's pretty awesome. So you want to have a better position, right? A better position, more recognition at your work. That's like, hey, we need help. Ask Jorge Humberto, right? Because he can do it, right? And that is that's cool, it. right? That's cool because you need to, and you change your perspective of life, right? Very nice. So let's see, Yvette, you are going to express uh, yeah, in my case, uh, I I hope travel this year to the United States. So my you brothers. Excellent. So that's going to be a motivator for you to go and practice more, right? For you to go and travel and visit your brothers. Very good. So I need the last one. Who is the last one? Uh -huh. uh, well, in my case, I I share the the goals that my <clears throat> classmates said, and also uh, one of my goals is 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 to speak English with fluency and to get a uh, more experiences to uh, get talking uh -huh. with with native uh, American people, <laughs> native and speakers. You say native speak native native speakers. Yes, and just to be to get more experiences and to feel more confident when you try to to share your ideas. Also, in my case, uh, I the uh, the English, but also the but while um, email, mm -hmm. I don't speak English in in my in my job, but I write English all the time. You communicate <laughs> through English. All English. Time. And it's, yeah, my communicate is in English. Oh, and, but I great. also want to improve my my English uh, language, my abilities on English. So your speaking skills, right? I remember that I gave you the recommendation. When you write an email, mm -hmm. read it out loud. 
Read the email. I mean, when you write it, read it. So you can have it at the same time that you are writing and everything. You can get this listening action by actually reading it aloud. Siempre que escribe un correo, léalo en voz alta. Y ahí le va a ayudar también como para hacer como este sense of, of writing. Because maybe your writing is very good, but you need to continue improving your speaking. So thank you very much for all the ones who shared. Very nice. I know all of you have different thank you. purposes. Thank you very much for sharing. I know you have a lot of different purposes of learning the language, and that's why you need to set a goal, right? If you have a goal to pursue, for sure you are going to go and get it. Find a routine. Find a routine to practice your English, even if it is 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, right? Even if it is just a little time on your day, find a routine. It's like, okay, cuando estoy almorzando, voy a ver unos videos. Cuando voy al trabajo en el tráfico, voy a poner aquí este, estos uh, audiolibros, right? O voy a ir haciendo estas cosas diferentes, que a veces hacemos como cosas bien rutinarias y no nos aportan en realidad en nuestro desarrollo del idioma. Entonces, eh, to do these little changes, to do little changes. If I am chilling in my work, I am going to read a book, right? I am going to get a book in English. If you don't have, I can send you a lot of PDFs. Don't worry. Teacher, no tengo ni un libro en inglés. I can send you a lot. I have a lot of PDFs that you can have on your phone for you to practice and read, right? But find a routine something that you do every single day, okay? Por ahí bien dicen que si ya se hace por más de 21 días, ya se convierte en un hábito. Entonces, try it, try it out. Watch videos on YouTube, but not funny videos, right? Not TikToks. I mean, watch TikToks, but for learning English, okay? There are a lot of channels on YouTube, on Spotify, on TikTok, on Instagram to learn English. So find a routine, right? Five or 10 minutes. The third one, what is the third one, people? ¿Pueden leer el tercero? What is the third one? Make mistakes. Make mistakes. Make mistakes. Make mistakes. Mistakes are part of the process, right? Mistakes are part of the process. If you say like, no, teacher, I don't participate because I, I, can, I can be wrong. I can make a mistake. Let someone else do it. Make mistakes because that is going to help you improve right? It's going to help you learn. If you find a mistake on someone, tell the person, right? Correct your friends, but in a nice way, right? Not like, uh, thank you, yeah. No, right? Because that's, that's a very horrible thing. That's why people in our country do not like to practice. They're like, uh, oh, you look at this. Uh. No, right? Try to make I, I correct feedback, right? It's like, hey, I think that word is like this. Hey, I think, listen to this pronunciation and you can make the correction on the person, right? It's like, mira, busquémoslo en Google, vamos a ver cómo se pronuncia. So, then you can say, no, ah. uh, no right? <laughs> it's not like that. It has to be a nice correction, right? Or if you feel that you're making a mistake, investigate right investigate and get the best answers there it's not like yo creo que así es y así es y así lo dejo no right try to improve and try to correct right practice a lot practice a lot your english right it is the only way for you to get it right through practicing right how do you practice teacher no tengo nadie con quien practicar practice on your own send voice notes on whatsapp to a group on your on, with yourself right a un grupo con alguien de su familia de ahí lo eliminan y que les quede el grupo en whatsapp y ahí pueden estar enviando notas de voz about your day about the things that you do about anything just speak english practice and then listen to yourself and you are going to be like eh, uy, what a horrible thing i said in an, an incorrect word right we dije children's children's no existe right and you can listen to what you record right but you need to practice practice with songs practice with music right but practice a lot practice with reading that it can help you right learned a lot of phrases not only words not only isolated words, no se aprendan solo palabritas, learn phrases, how to use it in a sentence, right? 
It is not like, ay, me voy a aprender estas palabritas así solita. No, learn phrases, learn paragraphs, right? Practice with this. Practice vocabulary as well. What is the best way to get vocabulary? ¿Cuál es la mejor manera de obtener vocabulario? Reading. Reading, through reading, right? The best way to get vocabulary is through reading. That is the best way, right? And for sure, if you get a book, if you get an article, if you get any type of source of reading, get vocabulary, write it down. And then write sentences and then write phrases and then write stories with the little vocabulary. Record yourself, right? Record yourself. How are you going to do it? It's in little diaries, right? It will be like, hey, hola, que tal, que no sé qué. Today I did this, this, and this, and it was a very nice day, and blah, blah, blah. So you can record yourself on audios. You can get paragraphs and read the paragraphs, okay? Pueden agarrar alguna lectura y, y grabarse mientras la leen, como el ejercicio que hicimos al principio, right? So you can, you can do that, right? You can practice yourself. You can practice with the recordings. It helps a lot. ¿Ya se han escuchado ustedes en notas de voz en inglés? No, right? But that it's something that helps a lot. That it's something that helps in a very good way. Hey, I think Katherine is here. Hello, Katherine. Katherine Dominguez is here. Support us with the survey. Hola, buenas noches. Hola, Katherine, buenas noches. Eh, sí, me comentaban que a las ocho y media creo que le habían dado la hora, ¿verdad? Para la encuesta. Sí, exactamente. Iniciamos ya. Ok, so I am going to share my screen with everybody. Ok, I have it right here. So I think all of you have your, uh, your email ready. Ok, my dear students, all of you have it ready. Yes, todos. Tienen yes. ya su, su correo abierto, ¿ok? Perfecto. Yes. yes. So, we're going to work and we're going to start. Let me just stop sharing here. And... Ok, solo arreglo un poquito aquí las pestañas y comenzaremos. Okay. ok, chicos, vamos a iniciar la encuesta de satisfacción. Y pues eh, en este momento vamos a dar inicio al desarrollo de la encuesta de satisfacción, la cual es requisito de INSAFORP y él lo establece para definir a cada participante y que él ha aprobado o no el presente módulo. Solicito a, de todo su atención y el seguimiento de las indicaciones para que esta encuesta se envíe sin error alguno. En primer lugar, vamos a ver un video explicativo para que tengan una idea general de dónde obtendrán la información solicitada y la forma correcta de trasladarla. ¿Ok? Así que en este momento les voy a poner el video para que todos la podamos ver y todos estemos en la misma línea al momento de realizar la encuesta. Ok, pongamos atención, les voy a compartir el audio también para que ustedes puedan escuchar el video. Ok, chicos. En el corporativo vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. ¿Pueden escucharlo? Sí. Yes. Yes. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico. Y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. 
Okay. Vamos a ver todo el video primero y después la vamos a realizar juntos. En el siguiente punto, vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en la información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente, colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6, vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera, vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8, vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor, vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Riga International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos. Y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarle tal cual está la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En este caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, si hay las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar. Y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Ok. ¿Estamos claros con todos los puntos que vamos a llevar a cabo en este momento? En este momento yes. vamos... A... En el número uno no sé qué voy a poner. Ok, a ver, ahorita, ahorita vamos a, a ir a los pasos exactos para eso. 
Ok, vamos a abrir el enlace que nos redirecciona la encuesta, por favor, y vamos a ir explicando uno por uno los puntos. Ok, vamos a abrir el enlace, por favor. En, abran todos el enlace que les redirecciona a la encuesta. Y aquí yo igual lo voy a no. abrir para que todos lo vayamos viendo. Ok. Vamos a realizarlo paso por paso. Cuando ustedes lo realicen, este, me dicen, por favor, completado. Vamos a pasar al paso número dos y así nos vamos a ir realizándolo. El nombre completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y pleca, yo se los voy a dar en este momento. El orden de inicio es el siguiente. ¿okay? Tenemos el número. Se lo voy a enviar igual al chat. Para que ustedes lo puedan tener. Ahí está. Tenemos los datos de curso. Ya en este caso, Katherine también se los ha compartido en el chat para que ustedes lo puedan tener. ¿Okay? ¿Ya ubicaron el, eh, la orden de inicio? la podemos copiar en el punto número uno, ¿ok? Denle en copiar y pegar a la orden de inicio. Se les envió también al chat de Zoom. Ahí está también. Igual en el chat de Zoom está el enlace para tomar la encuesta. Chicos, tenemos el punto uno completado. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Yo estoy chido. Ok, asegúrense de copiarlo y pegarlo completamente y compararlo con el que yo les estoy compartiendo también en pantalla. Nombre completo lo van a tomar también de la información que se les fue enviada al correo. Ustedes tienen un correo similar a esto, donde está su nombre completo según registro de DUI. Y lo vamos a ubicar aquí. Lo vamos a ir a copiar y lo pegamos, por favor. Ahí creo que en su correo también lo tienen. Y si no, Katherine me ayuda a verificar. También ellos reciben esta información en su correo, ¿verdad? Sí, correcto. Se les comparte por WhatsApp y por correo también. Perfecto. Entonces solo lo copian y lo pegan tal cual se les ha sido enviado. Porque así como aparece su nombre eh, completo, así es como lo tienen que poner en la encuesta. Me dejan saber, por favor, cuando hayan completado el punto número dos. Ella. Asegúrense de tenerlo copiado exactamente como lo recibieron en su correo. Yes, Punto número tres, correo electrónico. Igual va en la información, el correo electrónico que ustedes han, eh, eh, con el que ustedes están trabajando con inglés corporativo. Es el correo donde les llegan todas sus notificaciones, el correo donde tuvieron que recibir esta información. Igual ahí está en el listado de eh, información que ustedes recibieron. Cópienlo, por favor, y péguenlo tal cual es el que están utilizando para su comunicación con Insapor. Recuerden, pueden ir a su información, lo copien y lo pegan en la encuesta. Paso número tres, por favor, me confirman cuando lo tengan completado. Ya, dicho. Ready. 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 Perfect. Excellent. Vamos con el número cuatro, es el número de celular. También el que se les ha proveído en la información. Que okay, ustedes lo tienen ahí. Yo sé que pueden tener algún otro número, un número de trabajo, un número personal, pero es el número de celular con el que se han registrado. Que también está presente en el correo que les enviaron. El que estamos usando para WhatsApp también. Es el mismo que usted, con el que ustedes han mantenido comunicación y es el que les aparece ahí en el listadito. Ok, por favor, pónganlo completo. Cuando completen el número 4. Me muestran un like para saber que ya estamos listos en ese punto. Listo. Excelente. Vamos con el punto 5, en este caso, femenino o masculino. 
Solo selecciono. Solo lo selecciono. Okay. Yes, teacher. Like. Número 5. Listo. Yes. Number five. El departamento de residencia. El departamento de residencia. Ahí vamos a escoger el departamento donde usted reside actualmente. Y el municipio. Cuando tengamos el departamento, que es algo que tenemos que escoger nada más del listado, me confirman, por favor, para poder pasar al número 7, que es el municipio de residencia. Y así nos aseguramos que todos vamos en el mismo track. Like. Departamento y municipio. Siempre corroboren la información con lo que ustedes reciben. La empresa donde trabaja, esta como lo decía la, la, en el video, es algo muy importante que lo copien tal cual como razón social que está eh, en su eh, correo. ¿Cuál es la razón social de su empresa? Que es con la que está registrado pues con inglés corporativo. Ahí está la información también en su correo electrónico. ¿Me confirman cuando hayan copiado y pegado la información de la empresa donde ustedes trabajan? Con un like. Gracias, gracias. Manuel, ¿completamos la información de la empresa? Sí, teacher. Carito, ya, muy bien. Marlene y Nicole, ¿ya la completamos? Yes, teacher. Yes, Diana. José Rodrigo, Omar, Omar, Miguel, eh, no puedo ver sus cámaras, si me ayudan porfa con ese detalle. Completo, teacher. Thank you very much. Listo, teacher. Excelente. Vamos con el nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. En este vamos a buscar inglés corporativo Regal International SADCD. Ese es el que tenemos que escoger. Okay. Inglés corporativo Regal International. Ahí no hay dónde perdernos. Ya lo tenemos. ¿Listo? ¿Ya lo encontramos? Listo, sí, sí. Listo, listo. El nombre del curso que también se los han proveído en la información. El nombre del curso, obviamente, tenemos Inglés Intermedio Módulo 4. Ahí, tal cual como está aquí, lo vamos a copiar y pegar. Inglés intermedio módulo 4. Aquí ustedes le dan copiar y nos vamos aquí y lo pegamos. Inglés intermedio módulo 4. ¿Sí, Ivette? Con todas las comillas. Eh, Catherine, sí se tienen que incluir las comidas, ¿verdad? Si las quieren incluir, está bien. Si no, pues igual no habría ningún problema, siempre y cuando coloquen inglés intermedio módulo 4. Ok. Gracias, Ivette. Son opcionales. Pero la información, lo importante es el nivel en el que van. Inglés intermedio módulo 4. ¿Me hacen saber cuando tengamos el punto 10? ¿Listo, por favor? Listo, teacher. Listo, 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 chicos. Muy listo. bien, excelente, gracias. Gracias por confirmarnos. Número 10. Número 10. Ahora, en el punto 11, esa es una respuesta personal. Valore los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso y tenemos insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno o excelente. Tenemos tres, curso, tres este, diferentes aspectos. ¿Cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso? ¿Qué opina del contenido y estructura del curso? 
¿Qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? ¿Cuáles fueron las herramientas tecnológicas que utilizamos? Pues utilizamos la plataforma, utilizamos obviamente la conexión por Zoom, utilizamos todos estos recursos para eso. Esta es una respuesta personal, así que por favor me avisan cuando hayan completado esta parte. Ok. Listo. Finish. Great. That was quick. It was really Done. fast. Done. Very good. Vamos, eh, chicos, ya la completaron todos, la parte 11. Excelente, ya vi todos sus likes en cámara. En la fecha que inició el curso, también se nos ha sido enviado y recordemos que como era el inconveniente que tuvimos, iniciamos el 4 de julio de 2022. Entonces aquí en la fecha de inicio vamos a buscar obviamente el 4 de julio de 2022, con un día lunes, 4 de julio de 2022. Tengan mucho cuidado al escoger en el calendario para que no vayan a escoger una fecha errónea. Y... La finalización del curso es este día, 15 de agosto de 2022. Tenemos que tener cuidado con eso. Sorry, no vamos a poner lo que dice la encuesta, ¿va? Eh, no, no. La acabamos, la acabamos de recibir también en WhatsApp. Recuerden que como el día martes de la semana pasada mm. tuvimos un inconveniente y no nos pudimos conectar, se nos movió un día la fecha. Entonces vamos a finalizar el día de hoy. 15 de agosto. Fue el 4 de 7, o fue Ajá. el 15. El inicio Ajá. fue el 4 de julio de 2022. Y 4 la, del 7. 4 del 7 del 2022. Ajá. Escójalo en el calendario, por favor. Ahí cuando le da. El 15 de agosto. A mí me aparece al revés, que es 7 del 4. 7 del 4, creo que es por la, pero ah, fíjese, lo importante, es que, que ajá. Ajá, lo importante es que se fije del calendario, ¿eh? que tiene aquí okay. julio, okay. Okay. Pues la idea es que en el calendario lo seleccionemos bien, como 4 de julio de 2022, y la finalización es el 15 sí. de agosto de 2022. En ese caso, ¿afectará de alguna manera, Katherine, que le salga de, en un orden en diferente la fecha? Eh, no, no, no. Eh, usualmente siempre aparece así, pero ya a la hora de nosotros verificar eh, las encuestas y ya nos aparece eh, la fecha 15 del 8, pero creo que a algunos les aparece primero el mes. Ajá. Exactamente, eso es lo que nos estaban consultando. Gracias, Catherine. Dígame, Jorge. Dígame, Jorge, ¿me, ten, me, me iba a hacer alguna pregunta? Hmm. Creo que se nos... Ok. Bueno, eh, continuando aquí con la encuesta... ¿Cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso? En el caso de, eh, de ubicar satisfecho, pues es que usted se siente a gusto con todo lo que se ha realizado. Eh, insatisfecho, si no me equivoco, es que usted pues no, no gusta continuar con el curso. ¿Es así, Catherine, o me equivoco? Sí, correcto. Eh, así es. Igual en el grupo les compartimos un pequeño mensaje de la explicación respecto a ese punto número 14. Ok, en el, en el punto número 14 también hay que recordar que eh, obviamente cada uno de los participantes deberá marcar satisfecho o insatisfecho. Y aclarándoles pues, que ese punto no se refiere a cómo usted se siente con eh, haber cumplido o no en el módulo. También se refiere a que no le parecen las cosas como el manual o el hecho de mantener la cámara encendida o alguna acción de los compañeros o mucho menos que se sientan insatisfechos por la deficiencia del servicio de internet contratado. Este punto número 14 se refiere únicamente a cómo he impartido la clase pedagógica y académicamente y a cómo nuestro equipo de administrativo les ha apoyado en cada uno de sus procesos. Usted puede seleccionar cualquiera de las dos opciones. Al seleccionar la opción insatisfecho, nosotros nos damos por enterados de que no procederá con la inscripción del siguiente módulo. Entonces, esa es como la explicación del punto número 14. ¿Ok? Así, y pues, para continuar... 
para continuar aquí. Eh, obviamente mencione eh, qué otros cursos son de su interés. Si tiene algún curso que también le llame la atención, eh, pues usted lo puede mencionar ahí. Mencione qué otros cursos son de su interés. Esta es una respuesta abierta. Ahí usted puede eh, escribir si tiene algún otro curso que le llame la atención o que usted se sienta pues que tiene el interés de tomarlo. Lo puede ubicar en el punto 15 y al final en el punto 16 es un espacio libre para que usted pueda escribir algún comentario extra. Y si no tengo comentario, lo debo coger en limpio. Creo que en este caso no hay problema si lo dejamos en blanco, ¿verdad, Catherine? Eh, no, no habría problema. La pregunta 15 y la pregunta 16, si ustedes las quieren dejar en blanco, no, no pasa nada, no hay ningún problema. Excelente, okay. gracias. Entonces, aquí este punto es muy, muy importante. Una vez terminado, le dan enviar. Mm. Pueden dar enviar. Y pues, obviamente, eh, al darle enviar a la encuesta, usted va a recibir este el script de que ya la finalizó y ahí es donde usted tiene que tomar una captura de pantalla. ¿Ok? Tome una captura de pantalla de que ha finalizado su encuesta y la va a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Tiene que la, en este mismo momento, tome una captura de pantalla, la envíe en este mismo momento al grupo de WhatsApp con su nombre completo según Dui. Ok, una vez que la tengan, obviamente una vez que la tengan les va a salir el script donde dice gracias, exactamente como lo vimos en el video, les va a salir ese script que dice encuesta de satisfacción en inglés, gracias. Y la envían a nuestro WhatsApp grupal con su nombre completo. Gracias a los que ya la enviaron, ya recibimos bastantes. Ok, tengo una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 capturas. Y estamos esperando las demás. Por favor, quiero que todos la hagan llegar. Tengo 19 capturas hasta este momento. 20. Y me faltan dos de los presentes que la envíen. Y pues vamos a terminar con este punto. Ok. Excelente. Quedó a la espera de la captura de pantalla de Dani. Y ahorita vamos a corroborar quién más me falta que la envíe. Sí. <risa> ok, Rosy. Yes, let me check my computer is <risa> I'm waiting for my computer. Thank you, Omar. Y nos faltaría solo Rocío. Ok. 
Ok, gracias chicos por este momento tecnológico que hemos compartido llenando esta encuesta de satisfacción. Excelente. Well, let me see. Rocío, let me know when you send it. Right now. I'm sending the screenshot. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Yay, we finished. You know, it was my first survey, right? Fue mi primera encuesta en la vida. That was pretty good, but I survived. That was awesome. Okay, thank you, Rocio. I got it already. Very yeah. good job. Oof, we finished. <laughs> Thank you students for your help. It was very challenging. I felt very nervous at the moment of making the, the, the survey. It was my first time. Well, let's go back to what we were doing. Thank you very much. Ew, that was a stressing. Hydration moment, okay? So we were talking about recording yourself, right? And for sure, if we want to continue improving our English, read new words and phrases. That is really important because you are going to get new ideas and new vocabulary through it. Message people in English. People, raise your hand. Raise your hand if you send messages to your friends in English. Uh -huh. Good, good. Raise your hand if you send messages to your friends in English. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like mm, no <laughs> but a lot of but you sent a lot of emails so that it's like leveling yeah. a little bit so watch movies watch movies in english with english subtitles you know with series it's very good you know si tienen alguna serie favorita a ver do you have any favorite series yes what is your favorite series modern family Modern Family, <laughs> that's really awesome. It's very funny. Yes. Okay, Modern Family. And in this case, for example, in you, if you have Modern Family, right? That is the one that you like. Uh, I need you to use the subtitles in the sentence, in the, in the series, sorry. And pause it. Then you go back and then you read and you try to imitate the sounds of them, right? Not the sounds of of the Latina, what is the name of this lady? And there, is, there is a Latina there that it's really funny, right? But try to listen and imitate the phrases on your favorite series. Agarren un capítulo de su serie favorita y vayanlo viendo así despacito. Le ponen pausa, retrocedan, vuélvanlo a leer, traten de imitar la forma en la que se expresa. But a good series in, in English, right? Don't, don't watch this narco thing. It's like... Oh, look at this. This is a, a series of balazos in all the movies. You're not going to be Betty La Fea. Okay, but, it, well, I think there's no Betty La Fea in English, but there is, <laughs> there is Betty in New York that you can watch, right? In, in English, right? Betty in New York, no me paga nada por este comercial. So you can watch it, right? Or any type of thing that you love doing. Use a dictionary. Believe it or not, it is really necessary and it's really good to use a dictionary, right? Look for words on the internet. Look for the meaning. Look for the definition. Look for examples, right? Online. And listen to the pronunciation of words, right? In Google, there is a very good option for you to... Uh, I think there is no intermedio cinco. I don't really know. Or yes. No, I don't, I don't think. Well, but that's, <laughs> sorry, I got distracted by a message. So listen to the pronunciation of words. In, in Google, there is this option that you say like how to pronounce and you add any type of word, right? And you put how to pronounce mistakes, for example. And then it gives you the pronunciation and it gives you the movement of the mouth on how to pronounce it. So it is really good and it's really useful and necessary. So use it, use it because it can help you a lot to improve your pronunciation. And, or in YouTube, you can find a lot of videos on how to pronounce different words, 
right? And it can help for you to learn how to place the mouth, how to, how to position your lips, right? And I am going to send you a screenshot on the group. How does it look? And for sure, you are going to have it there. You just put there on, on Google how to pronounce, and then it gives you the pronunciation and also gives you the position of the lips, right? So you can try it out on your device and you also have the definition and the sound, right? I send you there on how it appears, okay? Ahí les envío una captura de qué es lo que les sale, cómo aparece, for you to look for it, okay? So those are some tips that I can give you on how to improve your English skills every single day. And now I stop talking because I am going to throw the ball at the other side. And you are going to answer the different questions that I sent you yesterday, right? Yesterday I was uh, checking on the different messages and I sent you a specific image, right? I sent you a specific image about something that we were supposed to work on. There are only three questions, the ones that we need to answer, right? And I have them here. I am going to share it for all of you. Here, I have it ready. In this one, we have three specific questions, right? What did you enjoy the most about the module, right? What did you enjoy the most and for sure, the next one, it is uh, what was the most challenging? What was the most difficult part? What was the most difficult part of the module? And the next one that we have here is what do you want to improve for the next module, right? Those are the three questions. What did you enjoy the most? What was the most challenging? And what do you want to improve for the next module? For sure, it's in English. Keep your camera active while you are answering. Pay attention and ask questions if it is needed. So who wants to start sharing the answer for the three questions that I have there? And so we can cover this final evaluation for the module. Uh -huh. ¿Quién quiere ser el primero en compartirnos sus tres respuestas? Me, teacher. Go ahead, Carolina. Uh, ¿Qué quisiera compartir una presentación? Ah, for sure. I am going to allow it. Go ahead. What a beautiful thing. Excellent. Go ahead. You can do it now. Now you can share. Presentation final mode. Number one, what did you enjoy most about the module? The most that I enjoy about the mall is that it like, was very interactive and that the teacher was not boring despite uh, the content of manual that sometimes feels quite tedious. Number two, what was the most challenging? Uh, the most challenging thing was when we had to make presentation a topic and present uh, oh, uh, presentation um topic and and you couldn't couldn't see the presentation or some inconvenience of that kind and will style how to defend to topic to topic and explain it it well number three what do you want to improve in the next model in my case is the the final definitely final definitely the conversation and the listening that uh, conversation and the listening that makes it very difficult for me 
to understand what they ask me and the anguish, anguish what they ask me correctly correctly is it is very difficult for me thank you thank you hey what a beautiful presentation miss god wow congratulations thank you, teacher. you know uh, the pronunciation can you go back to the last slide podemos regresar a la, a la, a la slide anterior Vamos a la, a la dos, a la slide número dos. Regresemos a la, a la segunda pantallita que me puso. Carito, carito. Solo dele atrás. La segunda, acá, acá, aquí. Ajá, esa. Ok. Ok. There you have, for example, the pronunciation of interactive. 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 And the next one was challenging. Challenging. Defend. Defend. Definitely. 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 Very good. Inconvenience. 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 And let me see. Understand. Understand. Answer. Answer. Yes. And in the final one, we have thank. Thank you. Right, because if you say thanks, that's the only word that you put. Okay, y esto es un conocimiento general para todos. Cuando ponemos thanks, solo se pone eso. Si ponemos thank you, ah, okay. no le ponemos ese. Pero eso es para conocimiento de todos en general. Okay. You see? A veces solo decimos thanks, así como gracias. Y thank you, it's like gracias a usted. Right? Thank you very much, Carito. I feel very proud of the of the advancement that you had and all the things that you did during this module. Very good job. Okay. Thank who's, you. Who's next? Oh, como quito esto, teacher. I will do it. Don't worry. I will. Who's next? Thank you. Can see? Cristia. What? <laughs> no, I thought that you were going to, to follow because you opened your microphone. Okay, it's not a problem for me. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> uh, for the first question, and what, I, what did you enjoy the most about the module? Uh, the, I really enjoy the, um, the interactive uh, class with my other classmates. I think it's very was very nice uh, that uh, all of us we got um, confidence. <clears throat> I know that, and I think this is very this is very good. good. Uh, for the second question, the second question yeah. is what was the most challenging? Uh, in my case, in my personal case. Um, for me, it was very difficult, the confidence also, <laughs> because I told you that I feel very shy and I don't know if the other people said, Ooh, did you listen in? or I don't know. So I think I got very confident for me uh, with myself. And also I need that because in my work, I, I only talk with not, native American people, native wow. English people. And for me, um, it's very important to improve the speaking and the listening, I think. And I think I I am in this in this way, yes. Okay, very good. Um, and? and for the last one, what do you want to improve next model? Uh, well, I think is. The same for the second question. I want to improve all my skills in the English and I have the goal to improve all of them. And I think uh, I can, I can do it. <laughs> yes. Very good. Very good job, Cristia. Claps for Cristia. Reactions for your friend, please. Very good job. Thank you very much, right, Cristia? That's very nice. And you see all the confidence, right? At the very first day you were like, yes, no. 
yes, no. <laughs> the very first day you said like, maybe she doesn't like the class, I said. Maybe she doesn't want to talk. And then I realized that it was just a matter of feeling confident with the group. And now you see, you are expressing yourself in a very easy way. So I am very glad that you actually did it and that you actually reached your goal, right? The only, the mm -hmm. only correction that I have, it's the word native, right? Native. Native. When you say native speakers, native Americans, right? So I'm native. Okay. Native. Okay. Right? That's very no. awesome. Very Thank good. Thank you. Excellent. Who's next? Me, teacher. Go ahead, Tatiana. Uh, teacher, for the first question, um, I enjoy the way how the teacher learn uh, because you keep the attention of or uh, or or the or the attention and I really got better pronunciation I think that and I'm so glad for that because uh, before I was a little bit nervous or something like that but at the moment I feel better uh, for the second question uh, it was very hard for me uh, to read fast and don't forget the uh, the punctuation because sometimes i i learn everything without the the punctuation so i think that was the the very difficult uh, thing for me and the number three i hope I speak fast <laughs> than now and have the same teacher because I think I I, I feel comfortable and, yes, nice. and I don't know for me it, it was a, a good course okay I'm very glad that you had the opportunity you see punctuation is important it's going yeah. to give you the flow of the of this like artistic English sound and it's going to help you a lot so Tatiana, congratulations on all the growth that you have, right? And uh, it just I have just one correction. So like, I like the way the teacher learn. I like the way the teacher teach, right? Remember the, the different uh, suffixes that we were practicing, right? The teacher teaches, right? But it was good. <laughs> it was very nice. Thank you, reaction. Yes, that, that was the, the correct word, but I, I, I read that. <laughs> You read it incorrect, but it was good. It was very good, right? It was very beautiful. Thank you for sharing, right? Thank you for sharing. And I know you're going to keep improving. Great job. Who's next? Manuel Antonio Palma. Go ahead. Hoy lo veo serio, Manuel. ¿Qué me le hicieron este día? No, 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 no lo veo con las chispas así de todos los días. Hoy venía como cansado. ¿Qué pasó? So, so, teacher. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, good evening. Everybody. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Uh, well, but for the for the first uh, question, um, what did you enjoy the most about the model? Well, um, I I may I may I say this was a uh, uh, funny funny. Uh, uh, Plus, for the all, peop, all people, uh, all, all partners, um, also uh, the the challenges in the in the class uh, was a, a really easy because previously uh, I I I talk about the online class uh, i i told it's very very hard very difficult because i i i didn't i didn't have the skill for uh, the, to handle the the computer the zoom platform because with the with the time i i i go to, to have the, the, the experience. Uh, in general, for the first question, I think is very, very funny. And the, 
the second one, uh, what was the most challenging? This is a good, uh, this is a interesting because um, any challenge, <laughs> for example, uh, in any module in my uh, previous class, uh, three years ago, any teacher uh, was uh, able to me <laughs> to, to talk in every in every in every class anything teacher because with uh, teacher teacher Nati <laughs> uh, teacher Nati in a simple way they say they told uh, hey what about your day what about the the different topics in in my case first uh, i uh, this is the the most uh, challenging talk on different date and different situation very good fantastic <laughs> and the and the number three what do you want to improve next module when i when i connected Today, uh, I, I I saw the different recommendation. Very thanks, teacher. Very thanks because this is the the better way to to improve in general the my English. And for the future, for the next model, in my my compromise or my, uh, what about uh, this, in this, in this, in this world, my compromise? Well, it, like my commitment, you say. Yeah, yeah, yes, my, my commitment. commitment. <laughs> I, I forget, I forgot. Uh, I put in practice all the recommendation. Okay, I that's do. a very good thing. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Manuel. This Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Reactions for Manuel, please. Thank you very much. You see, uh, yeah, there was no class on which you didn't speak. I created every single class intended for all of you to talk, right? Yo creo que no hubo clase en el que ustedes no dijeran algo, en el que no participaran. O sea, todas las clases eran enfocadas a que todos hablaran. Todo el You're right, teacher. Right? So that was a very good thing. I really, really Thank enjoy you. it. And you see the, the improvement. That was very good. Thank you, Manuel. And now we continue with Rocio. Go ahead. Okay, good evening. Hello, good evening. Uh, the, the first question. I most enjoyed learning new technical words that I can use in my life, in my every single life, in my work. And I also enjoy to spend time with all of you <laughs> because I agree with uh, with my classmate that the the, the all the class uh, was were very 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 fine and to be here uh, was a uh, uh, well well it was a, a productive. <laughs> And day because we learned we we were learning English and we we also laugh a lot. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and and that's cool. And the second, um, the most cha cha challenging for me was to be on time every class <laughs> because this month I had a lot of meetings and compromises and all of these things and but i i uh, i can learn and, and well it was uh the this is a a process right and you need to do a, a little more every day and i think it's cool to be uh, to have this challenge uh, every day and to get your to finally get your your goals that's pretty and yes <laughs> and for the last question 
Well, um, to be honest, I won't be in the next model because it's very difficult to me, but I will continue learning English every day and to practice all the devices that you get me. Um, you got me. Um, well, I appreciate all the things and the, the devices that I learned. Thank you, Pro. Oh, thank you, Rocio Veronica. Have you considered changing the, the time of the class? That can be something yes. that you can do. Yes, that will be something good for you to continue learning, right? In a different schedule. Because at, at night is very difficult, I understand, but it can be during the weekend or in a different time uh, or in a different schedule. But it was a pleasure yes. to actually Thank fulfill you. your, your expectations mm -hmm. on that area. Very good job. Thank you, Rocio. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there you go, reactions for Rocio, yay. Olga Marleni, go ahead. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. And the number one question, what did you enjoy most about the model? I think this model was very enjoyable and a teacher who deals with how to make a participatory class, it doesn't matter, matter if we make a mistake and i think this important for the learn for me and this is this is um is opportuno for the learning okay English. and the number two what was the most difficult? Um, I think we have to reinforce the last model, the last two model topics, because as well as my fluency and pronunciation, I keep going and I go with up. That's pretty good. Um, I I know that I can do it. Yeah, for sure you can. Yes. And the number three, what do you want to do in the next model? Uh, I think is my friends and pronunciation as well as my grammar too. Uh, I think is more difficult for me and I hope I can get over it. Nice. And I hope uh, uh, We'll have a teacher and classmate. Uh, very nice. Okay. <laughs> I hope the same. I hope the same. Good. Very good, Olga Marlene. Very nice description of uh, your questions. And that's very good. You see, I feel very glad and very happy to listen to you speaking. Because even when in some cases we feel that we cannot do it, it's like, I cannot do it. I am not good for this. But then you start practicing and then you realize and say like, hey, English is nice and I can do it and it's going to work fine for me. So, and then you feel like a champion because you are doing your goals. So continue improving Olga Marlene. Very nice participation. Thank you very much. You. Who's next? Five, four, three, yes. two. Ay, ya lo escogí. <laughs> Juan de Dios, go ahead. Okay. Um, the first one, the most enjoyed in this model, I think, was the feeling from the teacher not interacting during the class because she was confident, also kidding and understanding with us. Furthermore, shared with 
all students has been a wonderful experience. Another one uh, for the most challenging was trying to speak at the group level correctly and be available to receive the class every day on time because the schedule assigned has been difficult for me. For the next model, I want to speak fluently and confident as a result, I wish to improve my English skill to apply in a job and my life. Very good job. So you see, claps for Juan de Dios, very good job. Right, Thank Juan you. de Dios, I really appreciate all the effort that you did because even when it was very challenging uh, to be on time, right, or to do many of the things, I really congratulate you because you have improved a lot. Your fluency has improved a lot, right? Your speaking skills. So continue doing the great job you are doing, Juan. Very good job. Thank you. Thank you. Who's next? Five, four, three, two, let's go. Three, two, one. Claudia, thank you very much. <laughs> okay. For the first question, why did I enjoy the most about the model? I enjoyed the practice and the development of my English. I expand my vocabulary and meet very nice people. I really like to work in little groups to um, understand and help each other. The second question, uh, what was the most challenging? For me, the most challenging was practice and remember all the things that I have, I, that I forget and stay connect all the 120 minutes mm -hmm. because I, all the night this was a very difficult, <laughs> a challenge. And the third question, what would you do, want to improve the next model? Uh, I want to improve my grammar and pronunciation. I want to speak with uh, right, with right, right grammar and fluency. And I want to read more books in English to keep increasing my vocabulary. Very good job. Nice, Claudia. Claps for Claudia. Very good job. You know, there are a lot of, of, a lot of things that you can do in, in order to improve your, your uh, speaking skills, your reading skills. But one of the most important is through reading, right? Reading is going to give you a lot of benefits because it's going to help you a lot with your grammar, with your vocabulary, and it's going to help you to expand your word and your culture. So good job. If you want books, I have a lot on PDF. <laughs> good. Thank you, Claudia. Uh, who's next? Five, four, three, two, and chen, chen, chen. Jose Carlos, thank you very much. Okay, teacher. Um, I'm going to give the for the first one. What you enjoy the most about the model? Wow. The first thing that is spring to my mind when I read this question is your attitude, teacher. You provide, you know, confidence for all the students. And so, um, as a result, most of us get the, the, you know, the self-confidence to express our ideas, even when we are wrong, because we know that you want to help us uh, too fast and efficient, and that's good. For the second, what what was the most challenging? Wow, try to try the word giant. I don't know why, but <laughs> yeah. I got a little mistake with that. Giant. So <laughs> that was I, I will, that was a struggle on Friday. I yeah, I, know. I, I don't know why because it's easy, but I I was having mistake with the words. So the number three, what do you want to improve the next model? Wow, I have a lot of things that I want to improve for my next model. So I want to be connected the 100% for the next model because actually I have some mistakes or some wrong because one of my coworker, my, my right hand was in a hospital. So that means that I was, I was having a month really heavy about work. 
so I come to class tired, yes. And sometimes I cannot be connected on time. And but I'm ready for the next model and I want to practice a lot with you. And I guess, or I believe, or I'm sure that I have never had a teacher as you before. Oh. And that's it all. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. The best of luck for your modules. You know, I enjoyed teaching every single day. It was a challenge for me at the beginning. I was afraid and I was nervous and I was, and maybe I am not going to be good enough for the students. And then when I started to meet you and when I started to see all the confidence, the needs that you had, it really motivated me to do my best, right? Okay. So thank you, Jose Carlos, for your words. I really appreciate them. And I know you're going to continue learning. What a beautiful picture of Carolina hugging her dog. Is, is it like estaba enfermita, Carolina? Yeah, ella es. Oh, ah, mira. Oh, oh, what a beautiful. Yo estaba picture. llorando por eso. <laughs> no, but that's cool, right? It's a very beautiful picture of you with her. Let's see. Jose Rodrigo, thank you very much. <laughs> Dedocraticamente. Go ahead. Good evening. Okay. See, one question. What did you enjoy the most about the module? Eh, the dynamic of the class and the teaching methodology. Very practical with a lot of energy. And the question number two, what was the most challenging? Eh, the most difficult thing for me is this model has been learning the pronunciation uh, of many words, uh, but with practice, I can improve them and continue practice. Until and she an excellent presentation. Number three, what do you want to prove that model? What I want for the next model is to make, expand my vocabulary. I have a fluid conversation in English language. My perspective for the next model. Very good job. Very good job, Jose Rodrigo. Very nice. You see, you want to continue being more fluent. For sure, you are going to make it. Very good job and my best wishes for you. Keep being responsible, keep being there, keep practicing. That's going to give you the best benefit for you, okay? Congratulations, Mr. Rodrigo, on your advancements and I know you're going to continue improving. Yvette Alvarado, tell us. Good evening. Hi. Uh, the first question. What did you enjoy the most about the model? I I like to learn and it makes them fun with the different dynamics. And number two, what was the most challenging? Ex speak more fluently, learn Fluent. and apply. Uh -huh. Learn and apply new vocabulary uh, on uh, by phone uh, uh, the phrases. Uh, example in this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Paraphrasing, right? Organizing the phrases with the correct ideas. Uh -huh. yes. What do you want to improve next model? Keep learning, practicing, and Improving my pronunciation. Very good job, right? Improving your pronunciation. What is the best way to improve pronunciation? For sure, through speaking and a lot of practice, right? I know you are going to continue doing a very fantastic job. Thank you, Yvette. Thank you for participating all the time. You always had the right word to say, like the participation, Yvette, 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 right? It was very good, right? Even when you were tired or, or that you had a migraine or something, you were there participating and that's really rewarding. Thank you very much, Yvette. Nelson Gavarrete, tell us. Mr. Nelson, Mr. Nelson a la una, Mr. Nelson a la dos. Ahí está. Se me pierde, lo pierdo, lo pierdo. Ahí está. The microphone, Nelson.
Sorry, teacher. Good. Okay. Uh, number one. Uh, what did you enjoy in the most about the model? <clears throat> uh, what I like the most about the model uh, was the conversation, the reading and the way. They are splendid. Explanation. 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 Okay. And, and number two. Uh, what, what was the most uh, the challenging? Uh, and what I like the more about the model uh, and the and the more difficulty and then for me the pronunciation uh, the vocabulary uh, reading in front of words and number three sería in uh, the in the pronunciation, uh, reading and better, understand the structure of the model, and practice it, practice it uh, to understand, start more. Okay, participate to understand more. That was very good. Right, pronunciation. Nelson, how to improve pronunciation? Eh, yo creo que lo que más nos, nos detiene a veces a practicar pronunciación es la pena. Se me oye feo, no me va a salir, es que el otro habla más bonito. ¿Okay? Y siempre les pongo el ejemplo, vean a un americano hablando español. ¿Les da pena a ellos? No. And they are there trying to improve it. Eh, very bonito, mucho grande, que no sé qué. But, but they speak, and they speak a lot. And they don't care if they don't know, if they cannot do it, if it's okay, if it's not okay. The idea is to break the barrier of fear. Quitarnos el miedo a... Uy, se me oír feo. But you are bilingual. But you are speaking another language. Even when it is not perfect, right? Hay muchos que todavía están pensando empezar a estudiar. Y ustedes ya van avanzados en el idioma. Una, dos, tres, cuatro palabras. But you are learning, right? So don't feel mm -hmm. afraid. The practice is going to make perfection, right? That it's going to bring you perfection. So practice a lot. Okay. Thank you, Nelson. Okay, reactions for Nelson. Even when you know that pronunciation is difficult, you are doing it and you are not afraid to participate. And that's pretty awesome. Silvia Suleim, thank you very much. There you go. Okay, Silvita. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Um, the first, what did you enjoy? Did I understand to the... Hola. Yes, I can listen to you, Silvia. Yes. Escucha. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, the first question: What did you enjoy the most about the model? Um, I enjoy, but I understand to you, and this made more easy the model. And the second: What was the most challenging? Um. I uh, be to same level that my classmate because there are some ones that speak better uh -huh. to me. 
And the last question, what do you want to improve? Oh, I want um, to listen uh, better in, in English and understand very fast. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. You know, Celia, it's, it's a very curious thing, the one that you mentioned. To be on the level of my classmates, right? What is the, something that it's really important? Each student has its own progress. Cada uno de ustedes lleva su proceso y cada uno sabe lo que le cuesta, cada uno sabe las dificultades que pasa. Pero ir avanzando siempre a tu nivel, a tu ritmo, pero ir siempre avanzando. That's the most important thing, right? I know there are going to be many that are going to be more advanced, more fluent, more, uh, they have more vocabulary, more knowledge, but all of them, aún el que tiene más vocabulario, tiene otras dificultades. El que habla más fluido tiene otras dificultades. So you have to keep on your own pace, on your own progress. So, but it's a very good thing. It's a great challenge, Silvia, but never sure. stop, never stop advancing. Yes, Tati? There was a there was a tremor, really. Yes, yes. An earthquake. Yes. An earthquake. Yes. My goodness, I did. It was it was very it was the most important mm -hmm. about the English. Yes. <laughs> and I was the most important thing is in building class. I was the, the, oh my gosh, I, 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 I am I am in a building in in the last floor and I was <laughs> Y yo en medio de mi terapia motivacional, miren, y usted, y yo, el cielo cayéndose y yo, you can do it and you are good and you are good and everything, but it was okay. El cielo se cae, <laughs> Nobody in my, house, in my house felt it, so <laughs> it was good. Thank you for telling me. Ya voy a dar cuenta por medio de Twitter, right? Y yo la silla aquí y allá y aquí y yo sigan estudiando, esfuércense siempre por ser los mejores. Trayéndose la tele y todo, los adornos. But very, very motivational, very motivational. What a crazy thing. Oh my goodness, that's why. The power of your words, teacher. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yo vi que todos se pusieron como bien serios y estaban como, como, como afligidos y yo. Bueno, quizás es el impacto, dije yo, de lo que les estoy diciendo, pero no era el temblor, ¿verdad? <risa> ya ven el impacto que tiene mi padre. <risa> y let's continue, Mr. Omar Francisco, tell me. <risa> ok. Reactions for Silvia, before everything. A eso iba cuando salió el terremoto. Reactions for Silvia. Thank you very much. Ah, and, and Silvia, it makes it easier, no more easy, okay? It makes it easier to understand. Mr. Omar, go ahead. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Um, uh, question number one, what do you like most about the model? Uh, the hobbyality, the integration, and the teaching model. Uh, number two, what was the most challenging? The pronunciation of, of different words that are not common accommodate my professional and personal commitment to be in class. What do you want to improve in the next model? I want to improve pronunciation, write, reading correct, respective period, common, etc. Good, right? Respecting the punctuation. That was good. You see, it was 5.2, the tremor, right? Tuvimos un temblor de 5.2, and I didn't feel it. Congratulations, Omar. Very good effort. I know it has been very difficult, but you have been very, very responsible at the moment of connecting, uh, being in class, right? Participating when it was necessary. I know it's difficult, but I really appreciate your effort. Thank you, Omar. Thank you very much. Reactions for Omar. Very good job. Very good job. Thank you. And last but not least, uh, I don't know if Idiana is capable to participate or how do you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes, Dianita, para participar? Si no soy es, hello. 
Se la llevó el temblor. Yes, no, ahí está. <laughs> She's Sorry. there. Okay. How do you feel to participate? Yes? Um, yes, I okay. think I can do it. Go ahead. I'm just waiting for the result. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, what, did I, what did you enjoy the most about the model? I think the, the thing I most enjoyed was the teacher. <laughs> ah, I think <laughs> you. you were really dynamic and you use a methodology. Um, that it's really, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you try that all of us practice and participate and include all of us. And I like that <laughs> because there are some teachers that don't do that. <laughs> yes. And the number two, what was the most challenging? I think this <laughs> speak to others and know that there are people listening to me because I get nervous. <laughs> and what do you want to improve next model? Um, to lose this nervous and to speak with more fluency. Okay, right. And you know, you have improved a lot. I mean, you got very confident at the moment of participating with everybody, right? At the beginning, they were like, uy, no, no, esa muchacha <laughs> internacional, chiriño, no, no le hablo porque es internacional. <laughs> but now everybody was very friendly and everything with you. So it was pretty awesome yeah. that you already with made the angry the bus. <laughs> with the angry bus, I think that's when they click with you congratulations reactions for Dianita we hope that everything is just a flu ok esperamos que solo sea una gripe que no sea nada más grave ahí nos cuenta en el chat el resultado yes. and Marlene thank Nicole you. thank you thank you Dianita thank you Marlene go ahead Marlene Nicole hello hello Hola Marle, Marlene Nicole, ¿nos escuchas? Reportando desde el grupo de Intermedio 4 con Marlene. Uh. ¡Yay! She's listening. I'm sorry, había perdido mi, mi teléfono. Solo estaba escuchando con las audífonas. Pero... Ok, Marlene, welcome. Uh, the answers. Welcome. Um, what did you like the most? What was the most challenging? And what do you want to improve for the next one? Um, is the activity for the imagine you send? Yes, the, the one that I yeah. sent yesterday, yes. But it's a personal uh, answer, right? What did you like the most about the module? What was the most difficult part for you? And what was the, what are your expectations for the next one? Um, it's difficult in this module uh, because if I'm not um, stay for the old classes, but my work is, it's easy and I less um, the classes, but it's, uh, it's difficult for us that is a uh, stay for the classes. And the challenge for me um, is for the practice um, more English. Um, the in specific, specific is in the listening because it's the ma the most difficult for me, and is is um is difficult when I listening for the other people, but when I I listen for all the my um, classmate is is easy. But when I listen for the other people, it's like, oh, I don't understand nothing. <laughs> but yeah. it's, it's my, challenge, my challenge for practice and to learn. And in the, in the next module, 
I I want to save the better. Okay, you want to continue improving, right? It is really important that you have this this quite a challenge to know that even when the other ones are doing it in a very good way, yes, but you can also do it as well. So trust on the process. Thank you very, very, very much, Marlene. I am going to call the attendance for the last time. And before we go, okay, remember when you listen to your name, say here or present. Carolina Yamilet. Present teacher. Claudia Maria. <coughs> Present teacher. Christian Natalie. Present. Diana Elizabeth. Oh, Dianita had to disconnect. Jorge Humberto had internet problems. Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Yvette. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Miguel Angel says that it's raining a lot. Nelson Gavarrete. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Olga Marlene. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Silvia Suleima. Present. Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Vilma Ivette. Present. Marlene Nicole. Present teacher. Omar Francisco and Present. Danny Anthony. Good. Very good job. Well, my dear class, I really appreciate that all of you shared, right? There was someone who, who I was missing. No, right? All of you share. So I am going to share my screen for the very last time. Let me see. I have it right here. So remember, right? All these tips are very important, right? But the most important thing is the great job that you are going to continue doing. Why? Because in many of the cases, right, learning English can seem very difficult at first. It takes a lot of dedication and discipline to learn a new language. But most importantly, it takes a lot of practice, right? Many people spend time memorizing words out of books. Some even write words and sentences on paper. However, until you make the language useful to yourself, hasta que no hagas el idioma útil para ti, it will never become part of you. Doing all those other things are okay as long as you are also spending time speaking the language and trying to communicate in the language, right? So you need to make the language a part of your life, right? To communicate with others. When you use words and phrases, you have learned to communicate with others. The language becomes more natural for you to learn. Also, you are able to hear how English speakers answer you. So you will know how the language sounds are when it is spoken. Other good tips on learning a new language are to listen to as much of it as you can being spoken by a native English speaker. You can do this through videos now. Ahora ya pueden ir a YouTube, ver un montón de videos de native speakers in English, American English, British English, right? And you can uh, listen and you can also practice on the links that I sent you, right? Les envié muchos buenos links ahí como para practicar inglés con Emma. Muy bueno, por ejemplo. Eso es muy importante hacerlo. Uh, to listen to native English speakers. Turn on the radio and sing along songs in English, but with the lyrics, okay? Si van a cantar, canten con las letras. If not, later on, you are saying like, hey, ¿qué pasó aquí? ¿Qué estoy invocando? <laughs> with, without the lyrics. So please, practice with the lyrics, right? If not, you are going to be inventing new songs, inventing new lyrics, right? Right? <laughs> it's like, what is that? It's like British or what? It's like you are going to be with the aliens here, right? Practicando alienígena, como la que sale en TikTok, right? So please read the lyrics. It's important. Watch television shows that are spoken in English and try to follow along and understand what is going on in the story. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the sooner you can start effective communication with other English speakers. So what is the most important part of learning a language is to make it part of you, to make it useful to your life and to yourself. Para no perder la práctica, any new words or new vocabulary? Palabras nuevas, vocabulario que no conozcan.
immerse. Immerse to go deep in something, right? When you immerse in water, for example, getting immerse is like meterte in immerse. Spending teacher. Spending, pasar. Spending time is like pasar tiempo o ocupar tu tiempo, right? Ah, okay, thanks. Sooner. Which one? Sooner. Sooner. Más rápido. En spending lo podemos ocupar también con dinero. Spending money. Gastar dinero, right? Another one. No more. Most of the of the paragraph was very was very understandable, right? But what I want to finish the day uh, with is for sure that. Uh, Learning is learning a new language is important and it is going to help you to open a lot of new doors, right? Remember the tips to continue learning because practice is going to make perfection. I left all the tips here for you. And what uh, do I have to say? Keep doing the great job that you do every single day. And thanks for sharing this moment of your life and learning with me. Have a beautiful night, my dear students. It has been such a great pleasure to meet you. So do you have my contact? If I can be useful to you in any single form, you know that I am there to help you, okay? So have a beautiful night. And I am going to see you in the next levels because I am pretty sure that I am going to find you there. Sigan se esforzando, chicos. Sigan haciendo ese gran trabajo que hacen. Un aplauso para ustedes por ese Thank gran you, trabajo teacher. que hicieron. Thank, Thank, you. You Thank you very much for everything. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a beautiful night and see you in the next modules. Good night. Good night. Have a beautiful night. Bye bye. Have a, bye. have a beautiful night, my dear class. Bye bye. 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 Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you very much. I have in Chennai. Thank you, have a beautiful night.
Well, thank you very much. That's all for today.